Hey everybody, thank you for joining me. I thought today we would do a quick demonstration of uh, how to deploy software remotely to multiple computers at the same time using Batch Patch, of course. Good news is it's really easy to do. So we're going to start here. Um, what we're going we're gonna to use actually Notepad++ as our example today. So I've gone ahead and downloaded the Notepad++ installer. This is just the regular installer available on their website. And um, I'm going to run Batch Patch. Now, beforehand, I looked up what the silent switch for an installation with Notepad++ is, and it's just a slash capital S. So, what we're going to do is we'll just load our BPS file. This contains the hosts that we have. In this case, right now, I only have five hosts actually turned on for this demonstration. So I'm going to highlight the five hosts, and I'm going to use this Create Modify Deployment button here on the toolbar. We can also, of course, get to that with the Actions menu or with the right-click menu, and we can go to Deploy Software and choose Create Modify Deployment. So, again super simple all we need to do at this point is select what we're deploying which in this case is going to be notepad plus plus installer I'll just select that this is the path to the notepad plus plus installer and we need to add the silent parameter so again in this case with notepad plus plus it's a slash capital s um, and of course before and I tested it out I ran a notepad plus plus installation at the command line using the slash capital S parameter to make sure that it worked and it did so what we end up with is let's cancel that for one second is in this command to execute window we have the actual command that's going to be executed on the remote machine which is uh, the installer file slash s and that's after the file is actually copied there so we'll go ahead and click OK it shows our command in this deployment field here and then we can go ahead and actually just execute it I'm going to right click again and I'm going to choose execute deployment before I do that though let me just show you so you can see I'm going to bring into this screen here one of the machines this is Coco 2008 Mambo 3 this is one of the computers that we're going to deploy to and we'll notice here we don't have Notepad++ um, if we go to the AppWiz we can see there's no programs on this computer. This is just a fresh VM that I, I created just a few minutes ago for this demonstration. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we will again, like I said, we'll execute the deployment on these machines and what we see happening here, deploying or executing, we've copied the Notepad++ installer over to each of the machines and now we're executing. It's actually already finished on our Membo3 machine. Oh, it looks like it's finished on all of them so let me bring this back into the view here so if you recall we were looking at this just a second ago if I refresh the list of programs now we can see notepad plus plus we see it up here in the programs group and here we go that's all there is to it so now if we wanted we can run notepad plus plus for the first time on this computer and it's telling us that there's a plug-in update interesting since it's a brand new installation a second ago but that's okay so that's it that's how you deploy software remotely to multiple computers at the same time.